Well, after toting probably what be, would be one of the worst Oscars this past weekend. We're still waiting for the numbers on that. Uh, the box offices are in, and it was a strong box office weekend uh, for the theater industry, uh, which that's a good sign. It's a very good sign on that. Uh, of course, we had two head-to-heads going back onto there. We had Mortal Kombat, the new Mortal Kombat movie, and the... Um, movie that's been doing very well overseas demon slayer the movie also was released here in the u.s for the first time on there if you didn't get it by the old uh ho 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 and a bottle of rum video pirates on the on the high seas if you didn't get it that way uh but uh, let me tell you something the numbers are very interesting if you clicked on the to to uh, the title of this video, you'll understand why. Uh, from the numbers that we got and from the start of it, and I, I had posted something at the start, you know, uh, Demon Slayer was up ahead of Mortal Kombat at one point of the weekend, uh, up by about 500,000, something like that. It was it was pretty, pretty edging close. By the time it finished Sunday, uh, here are the final totals on it. Uh, domestically, $22,515,000 Mortal Kombat had in the box office on there. Not bad for something that uh, basically is uh, was on HBO uh, Max as well. Uh, while Demon Slayer did $19,542,227. And you'll say to yourself, well, what, Zane, why did you say that Demon Slayer um, won out better? Well, when you dive into the numbers, the most important thing is that, you know, they always say the numbers, the numbers on there. Now, if you look at the numbers uh, versus the two movies, Mortal Kombat versus Demon Slayer, uh, you'll see a very interesting pattern here. Now, you're not sitting, this is no conspiracy. This is nothing onto that. This is actual rankings. This is the rankings, the way it it, it is put out. Uh, you could check it up by Box Office Mojo and everybody else that puts this out. Uh, originally, f at the beginning of the weekend, they had it listed at 2,600 theaters uh, for Mortal Kombat. I guess they boosted it up a little bit more. Uh, they boosted it to about 3,073 theaters. So basically, when you look into the perspective, Friday... Uh, you had, they did about 9 million on there, uh, at 3,000 theaters at about an average, uh, 2,956 per theater. Saturday, they did about eight, another 8 million at an average, same amount of theaters at 2,800 per theater on the average dollars per th theater. And on Sunday, I think everybody dropped off on Sunday. I don't know why. Uh, they did about 4 million seven. Uh, on there on an average of $1,500 on the average per theater. And it sounds great. You know, it sounds great. You have those numbers and stuff like that. But when you go over to the Demon Slayer numbers, this is how it works down. And this is where theater owners, uh, company, you know, film companies and stuff like that look at at this producer executive producers they look at this guys in the head of head offices at these big companies uh advertisers uh other theater owners who didn't participate in it this is what they look at primarily on friday demon slayer had about on an average 1600 theaters did about nine million dollars so they were number one on friday their average per theater Playing Demon Slayer made 5,967. Now you say, well, they played in less theaters. Yes, but they got a large amount of people to go to those theaters. Okay. Saturday, same amount of theaters. Well, actually, they went up about two theaters there. 4,028. Okay. They topped off Sunday, which if you look at the sunday numbers even though the numbers were lower still beat out on the average per theater mortal kombat 
at 2225 so when you look at when you total up the numbers even though it, they totaled up that mortal kombat did more money but when you look at the average per screen per screen demon slayer did a lot more money per screen average and they were in less screens nationwide you're talking 1600 screens versus three half Half of the screens that Mortal Kombat was on, Demon Slayer made made big bank money. That is what Hollywood looks at. Those are the numbers production companies look at. Distributors look at that especially. This is why anime has been king lately. Because they can do this. The mistake that a lot of theaters owners did was not to release it in other theaters. There were, there were theaters out there that, that refused to play the movie. And they say, oh, why are we going to play an R-rated anime movie? Now, understand, both films were R-rated, both Mortal Kombat and Demon Slayer. The only reason Demon Slayer was an R-rated was because of the blood. There was no language on there. There was no sex. It was just the blood issue which was animated blood mortal kombat had language r ratedness even though there was no sexual content on there but there was there was a lot of blood a lot of violence in the movie which that's okay i mean that was i was that was the only thing i liked really with the mortal kombat movie i mean all in all the movie itself was eh, when you look at it from one perspective of which one was better, 95, 2021? It's a little bit of balance of the both. I mean, you, you know, you had a plot line that was like, uh, okay. And then, you, you know, you didn't have Johnny Cage in it. And then, you know, uh, you had that ending the way they ended it at the very end, touting that they might do a sequel to the movie. I mean, I, the characters I liked was Kung Lao. Kung Lao was very well done in this movie. Uh, you know, the Scorpion Sub Zero fight was very good. Uh, the um, Kano character was excellent. I mean, the Kano, uh, you know, a lot of people tell the Kano character really stole the show. He was right. He was right on target at being Kano. I mean, that that guy, the, the actor that did that role, he stole the show. Now, I haven't seen Demon Slayer the movie yet, and I'm waiting a bit because my wife she hasn't watched all the episodes she hasn't finished off and probably by the time we uh she finishes off uh the series uh we'll watch the uh movie when it when it comes out either on pay-per-view or amazon on amazon prime you know one of those one of those companies will get that when it comes out especially when you look at th these numbers and it's still estimates so basically the the full numbers are not in yet the the full amount of numbers so there might be a little little bit of an uptick. I don't see it overtaking Mortal Kombat on there, but the thing about it is, when you look at the perspective, Demon Slayer did excellent again. I mean, you're talking about a movie that's already worldwide, for, you know, $400 million worldwide for an animated film. I mean, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. And it's disappointing because a movie like this, you know, you had the Oscars go by, didn't get an Oscar nomination, didn't get a Golden Globes nomination. Should have been, should have been there at the Golden Globes and the Oscars. But of course, it's all politics. It's all politics. As you, as well, if anybody saw the Oscars last night, I mean, it's still the numbers are not even out yet. So you reach this part of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like share this video. We will see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye now. Oh, and before we go, don't forget to check out our new Teespring shop, our Cuticast shop, and our, at our new address, Shop Cuticast, where you can check out our new anime shirts that we have out uh, anime shirts, pillows, just in time for the spring and summer. Uh, go check them out. And we have some of our classics still available there from our TV shows. And we have more t-shirts 
on the way. We're redesigning the Q to Cash shop, our merch shop. Uh, we have a lot more coming. So do check us out. That's shopqtocast.com. One more time, that's shopqtocast.com. It is up and available just for you. And remember, all proceeds go to help this channel.